For a sugar-free alternative to energy drinks, go to gamersubs.gg and use the code BIGFRY for 10% off your order. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Oh Jesus Christ. My name is Big Fry. Today I want to talk to you guys about Insurgency. Before we do, if this video gets 750 likes, I'm going to buy a copy of Insurgency and give it out to somebody on my next Insurgency live stream. So make sure you guys like the video. Let's get into it. I want to talk to you guys about the Insurgency patch. They dropped the Miracle patch, the patch of all patches, the patchiest of patches. And then they followed up with another patch, 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 patch. We got two patches. <laughs> The word doesn't even make sense anymore. We got two updates. One was 4.6 gigabytes. The other one was about 500 meg. So we're sitting here over five gigs of updates in the last two or three days. I don't want to go through every single line of the patch notes. I'm going to link them down below if you guys want to read them for yourselves. The biggest changes that we are seeing here, optimization fixes out the yin yang. I'm able to play this game at over 100 FPS on all high settings, obviously taking down the motion blur because fuck that. The game is running flawlessly for me right now. I'm not getting micro stutters. I'm not getting anything. However, I did hear reports. I don't know how many people are feeling like that, but I did see some comments saying that this game is still stuttering. It's still not quite where it needs to be. On the map refinery with grenades going off and a whole bunch of shit going on, it definitely does start to chug a little bit. I'm talking it drops to about 80 FPS, which I mean, from where we were a month ago to now, I'm pretty happy with that, but it definitely could be better, especially if you're talking about competitive gameplay. But they moved the engine onto 4.2 of the Unreal Engine 4, and one of the biggest gameplay changes that came with this update was the weight system. So now everything that you put on your character has a weight tied to it, and it changes the way that you ADS, it changes the way that you run, the way that you aim. Everything about the game is now in my opinion, in a little bit slower pace than it was before. Now, I myself run really light loadouts. I'll have my rifle, maybe a grenade, no armor, no nothing, and I just want to get around the map as fast as possible. I still believe in this game, the map knowledge and the way that you move around the map is the most important thing. And once the first patch came out, the 4.6 gigabyte update, the ADS wasn't tied to the weight. They just put a, a delay on it, and it was really fucking slow. When the game came out here after that update, it was almost impossible to come out of sprint and ADS because they just put a, a, just a basic delay on it to make it slower, which I understand their reasoning for, but it just felt way too sluggish. So I was live streaming. I'm like, okay, hey, what the like, what the fuck is going on? This is terrible. It feels so bad. The next day, they drop a 500 megabyte update, a bunch of other fixes, plus that. So you can tell the developers are actually taking that feedback. They went and they took the ADS and they tied it directly to the weight system. So that's been fixed now. We had issues with grenades not going when you hit the mouse button. They went and cleaned that up, fixed that. So that's no longer an issue. These guys are busting their ass. The main reason why we didn't see an update in over a month was because they were transitioning from 4.19 to 4.2. If you're watching a whole bunch of other developers and studios working in Unreal Engine, you know that this is what everybody is currently doing right now. And the developers assured me that now that that is over with, the largest portion of the work was that. Now we're gonna start seeing updates come at a rapid pace to get ready for the launch in December. Personally, right now, I think the game is running absolutely flawlessly. Like I said, there's still people who are having issues, but I think from where we were at the beginning of September to now, my confidence in the game launching in December, I I'm ready for it and I feel like they're going to do it. We were supposed to get pre-synced this patch. They had to polish up some other things and we haven't seen it yet. I really fucking wanna play that map. It looks like they pulled out Summit as well to do some cleaning up and polishing there. So right now in this build, we have Refinery, which is, I, I wanna talk about Refinery in a little bit. On top of Refinery, we have Hideout and Farmhouse. Both of these maps we've seen before, nothing to really talk about there. Outside of the fact that they changed some of the checkpoint locations, so, so in Hideout where that B point was in the middle of that courtyard that was pretty open, they took it across the street and put it inside the building with like the three rooms in there. So it's a little bit more like close quarters engagement trying to get that B point. I personally like the change. I did like the B location before, but you can tell that this one is definitely better. But now I want to talk about Refinery because I feel like Refinery is definitely one of the worst maps 
in the game right now. I played it before when it was really buggy, when the performance wasn't there, and I just wasn't a fan of it then. Even on top of all the performance issues, I just didn't enjoy playing it. I was like, I'm going to wait until we can get there, well-performing servers, everything's good, and we can get on and see how the game actually flows on that map. And I personally feel like that map specifically doesn't have an identity in terms of the lanes. You can go to the right, but it's very wide open when you're running on the one side down the street and it has like stone slabs that kind of give you a little bit of cover. It's just way too ridiculous for sniping on that side. And then if you go into the middle, if you want to try and just avoid that altogether, when you go into the middle, there's so much verticality there, yet not a lot of cover on either the top side when you're running on the rails or the bottom side when you're on the ground it's just open essentially just open the only cover is the platform between the people running on the ground and the people running above but you're so open to sniping because you can get hit from almost anywhere in the map when you're running above and below you can get hit from the right side from it, it, there's just not enough cover to I guess create a, a path worth traveling there. The only viable path to not get shot across the map is running towards where they have the B location. And when you go up there, it's a direct shot. There's a hallway. You run up the stairs. There's a hallway that takes you over to B. And then you can test. That's why on this map, you see so much contention at B because it's the only technically safe place to run where you're not just going to get shot from across the map or from the side. It is a straight shot you know who you're fighting and you know they're going to be in front of you because everybody's going to meet there but on the other sides even if you th were to throw smokes and try to get through there the sniping is just way too ridiculous on this map i feel like it has to be adjusted there's a lot of places in that map that just have to be adjusted unless that's a design choice i'm looking at it as i feel like that map hasn't had the love and hasn't had the proper testing from the internal QA or or why I don't know. I don't know if the developers are looking at the public beta test as a way to change actual map design. But I just feel like that one is lacking in a lot of ways. Even in crossing. Even though we don't have crossing in this build right now. Crossing was a very open map. But there was a lot of cover. So it always didn't feel like you were just getting sniped across the map. If you ran certain ways, sure. But it gave you options. I don't feel like Refinery with the way that the checkpoints are placed and everything else. I don't think that it actually gives you a lot of options outside of just contesting B and moving around from there. When I was in stream, the developers asked me if there were any things that I could think of to increase the streamer ability, the streamability of the game from a Twitch perspective. These guys definitely want people to watch their game and they want to provide tools to the streamers to be able to put on a good show, have competitive tournaments and all that. A couple of things that I came up with, the first things first, if I'm playing the game in full screen and I want to alt tab to another monitor, the game mutes itself. And I, I feel like that's kind of a detriment to people who are watching. If I have another monitor up and I'm looking at Twitter or I'm looking at something going on on Twitch and I want to alt tab to it, the game like it, it essentially goes into like a background mode where it kind of chugs along in the background mutes the game so when people are watching the capture of the center monitor that I have and I know a lot of streamers are gonna run into this as well when I all tab I want it to still remain a priority process so that I can you know just basically I want real multi monitor support for the game I feel like that is one thing that this game desperately needs for the streamer perspective we are currently setting up a server and it's actually pretty much working at this point for a 5v5 firefight and I'm going to be running competitive public twitch streamed tournaments on my channel so anybody could come in jump on and and play and we're gonna be doing giveaways and we're just gonna have a good time and we're gonna grow the community do by doing that and that's why I want to do a giveaway when we hit certain like thresholds I just want to grow the insurgency community because I feel like these devs deserve it one thing I fucking hate right now is their spectator cam I jumped in it today for the first time I've never actually tried this before but it actually feels like a bird's eye. You're kind of floating around and it doesn't have the right responsiveness for competitive gameplay. It feels like your camera is almost on like a 360 spherical swivel and it just doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm controlling a bird when it should just be I'm controlling a camera. If the developers could take one piece of advice, go back to what the spectator cam, the free cam in Insurgency Source was because that shit was responsive you could fly around the map everything was good 
and it just felt right. Right now, it's a little bit awkward. And I think for competitive tournaments, if I need to fly around and try and get a nice overview of one of the objectives with people coming in, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And one thing for competitive tournaments that we ran into a lot when we were doing co-casting, I was co-casting with Lord Quode, him and I were controlling different camera perspectives. If there was a way that you could have both like co-casters be able to watch the same spectator cam, that would be amazing because then we could talk about exactly what is going on on the screen. We're both seeing the exact same thing. He's not jumping around to one area while I'm jumping to another and trying to cover all the combat. If we could figure out a way to do that, lock the two spectator slots to one camera with like a selection in game, something like that would be absolutely phenomenal for casting events because I feel like this game could do really well in the competitive scene and I'm ready to kickstart it again. We, we just need these tools. I'm going to be talking a lot about Insurgency in the coming months, going into the launch and then post-launch content. We're going to be doing, like I said, competitive tournaments. We're going to be doing giveaways galore. I want more people to play this game. And if I'm being totally fucking honest, I want to grow an audience off of Insurgency Sandstorm because it's tactical as fuck. It's still fast-paced. I'm insanely good at it. And it's one of my favorite shooters of 2018. So, of course, I want this game to do well. If it does well, we can grow our community. And I just I just want everyone to prosper here. So, I think with those tools, those fixes, I think this game, as of right now, as it stands, has a lot of potential. The game's already great, but I feel like it could be a lot better. One other thing, before I log off for the day, we need to figure out, because now we're hosting our own server, there's no ranks on the server, unfortunately. Everybody logs in, everyone's at rank 1. I would love to figure out a way to set up like a database on a server so that we could actually have stats registered for our server. You were able to do it with Insurgency Source, but I know with Source Service and stuff, all of that infrastructure was already there with Unreal and, and the Switch and engines. I don't know how to go about doing that, but I definitely want to get that done in the future. Anyways, guys, my name is Big Fry. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you been playing the new patch? Is it working for you? Is the performance where you want it to be? Leave a comment down below. If you guys have bugs or if you want to talk about your performance, I urge you guys to leave your specs in your comments so that the developers reading it can kind of get a grasp on what is actually going on. It helps them, which then in turn just creates a better product for everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Again, 750 likes, and I'm going to give away a copy of the game in my next Twitch stream. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.